I'm going to be talking to you guys about Doctor Who proms. I went yesterday along Z. You mean red butterflies? Oh yes, of course. It, hmm? Alright guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Doctor Who proms. I went yesterday for the first time ever. Apparently I went before. But, I mean, I don't remember, so today one of me talking about what I would assume is the first time, for me at least, it feels like the first time. And, like, I've seen it on YouTube and I didn't really know if I'd ever go, but, I mean, yeah, I guess I went yesterday and yesterday it was amazing. It was honestly amazing. I went to the Albert Hall, whatever, in London and i went with my brother and oh it was just it was amazing and we're like we're doc two fans so i mean that was just amazing it was hosted by Catherine tate the companion of 10th and 14th and yeah so i mean that that was pretty cool how Catherine tate actually and there was apparently stephen moffat and russell t davis there but i didn't really well i mean i did sort of see some people that looked like them but i don't know if they were there so i mean yeah i didn't really get to do any footage because you're not allowed to record in there because god knows you know that's just a rule so i basically filmed like two fins or something and like photos and then before it started obviously and then i also have some footage from online so i kind of have to use other people's footage and i know i i mean if if anyone did tell me off for using uh someone else's footage you kind of can't because i need it for a video um but anyway so the dot two proms was really exciting we saw lots of things i mean if you don't know what the dot two proms is i'm just gonna tell you it's like this theatre like a musical type of place and basically it's where they play top two soundtracks and they show like i don't know scenes they have acting it's pretty cool it's basically like a pantomime but for top two it's honestly incredible i just i really enjoyed that so yeah we basically went to the top two ponds we were pretty high up so it was kind of scary but it also wasn't and i honestly everything looked amazing there was lights there were uh there was a massive space there was a massive space in the entire hall and also obviously there were soundtracks playing in terms of the actual doctors we didn't get any actors of the doctor appearing which kind of sucks i wish i saw a doctor but i didn't instead we got some music of doctors the most music we got for each doctor the the doctors that we got for the music was matt smith's doctor peter capaldi's doctor and Trudy gatwell's doctors doctor the rest of the doctors we didn't really get that much music of i mean jody we did actually get after i asked because i like said that i wanted uh some stuff from Jodie and I also wanted to see them mention Yaz in the companion lineup because they had this like companion lineup where they showed different music to do with that companion and they didn't show Yaz obviously because Yaz isn't a part of RTD and I kind of wish that RTD just wrote all of it you know but anyway so we did get to hear Jodie's music, we heard Jodie's regeneration music, which in my opinion, her regeneration music slaps hard, I I honestly love that music, and yeah, we also saw people dressed up in costumes, Jadoon, Cybermen, you got the regeneration, uh, the Cybermasters, I think they're called, we've also got Peg Doll, I saw Peg Doll, and um, yeah, it was pretty funny because imagine seeing that as a kid. Yeah, I think that'd be terrifying. There was also like this green thing in the background, which 
I don't know what it was. I still don't know what it was because it looked like a Slitheem, but it also looked like the Boogeyman in Series 14, so I don't know. It could have been a Slitheem, could have been a um, Boogeyman, but I honestly don't know. So there was also Silurians, Daleks, well, there was one Dalek, but I mean, it was really cool. I don't know if Nicholas Briggs, or whatever his name is, was there, which is the voice of Cybermen and Daleks. I would assume he was. I don't know where Russell and Stephen was, because I thought they were down below, but when I looked at the video, it looked like they were up top, so I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, that could have just been because they changed seats. I don't know. Also, I hate his quality, honestly. So, yeah, pretty much. It was really fun. It was really exciting. There was obviously breaks. There was a moment where Dalek told the entire composer or whatever, the, the, the people making the music, and there was also Murray Gold, which is pretty cool. If you don't know who Murray Gold is, He's basically the guy that made music for every Doc 2 series except from except from for Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi and Jody Whittaker. Aside from that, he's basically done good music, but yeah, there was a scene where a Dalek basically told all of them to go. Also there was a Childra, Childer, or however you pronounce it, I don't know what you call it. There was also there was also a scene where we basically saw a screen of Jinx Monsoon character, I, uh, Maestro, basically where Maestro was talking to the audience, and I wish it was canon. It's obviously not canon, but I mean that'd be pretty funny if it was canon. It, and then we also got Mrs. Flood or Anita Dobson. Anita Dobson basically came out with her. Um, winter coat that we saw at the end of Empire of Death and basically she I don't know she said something that kind of made me feel like she revealed something which was that maybe she's like a alien or something like villain so I kind of feel like that was her hinting at the next series but to be fair it could just not be I, I reckon it is but it's probably not and then also we got we got amazing soundtracks we got some emotional ones there was a lot of people crying at you know rose's departure uh, on screen being reminded there was also like regeneration that people cried at so yeah there was a lot of doc 2 stuff that you would normally cry at which i didn't really cry at i did have water in my eyes but that wasn't me really crying that was just because it happens when stuff like that happens um and then also there was Ood there was I, I don't know if there was Suntarin but I think they did mention a Suntarin but one didn't come out there was also a Whisper Man which was really cool and we also got Mondasian Cybermen which is cool we also got the Foretold I mean that's crazy that's actually really cool how we got the Foretold foretold which I, I to be fair i did think about that before we came also there's another thing is that we basically is that basically we also and then also another thing is that we did see well i actually was the only one that saw it i'm pretty sure but there was a lot of people not in costumes but they did have kind of like merch and stuff like that there was a guy with like the trousers of 14th doctor we also had people with fezzes which was pretty cool there was someone with a tardis t-shirt and maybe some people with sonic screwdrivers which i don't know because i just heard someone mention a sonic screwdriver so i don't actually know and then also on the way back i got mcdonald's i got my main meal which was a cheeseburger well triple um coke and chips that's pretty much it and i got a meal deal so but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i not gonna lie if you want to experience doc do in a way you've never experienced it go to 
the dog two poms it's expensive but oh my god it is worth it i don't know what the prices were but i mean you could probably look at them but that was so fun and hopefully you guys go to the dog two poms and hopefully you actually enjoy it and yeah that's pretty much uh it so if you did like this dog two video then subscribe do the fin make sure you go to his channel subscribe and do the thing Go to the Doc 2 Poms, you won't regret it, except from the price, because you probably will regret that. But, yeah, bye guys, and have a legendary day. Alon Z.